lights and things like that added to it. So um, I wanted to bring this this one to you. It does exceed the $5,000. This is for the staff intranet, which is um, just the staff portion of it, uh, which we don't currently have. <laughs> and there's a lot of information we need to share internally in order to do our work effectively. And so that's what this proposal is for. Any design proposal that Graphic Solutions comes up with is going to be for the initial design and the template, mm -hmm. and then after that, we maintain it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's 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 an upfront cost at first, mm -hmm. but over time, you know, it's it's minimal because we ourselves maintain it. Um, we also the same thing we want um, to be have them do an online annual report and things like that. And so as we move forward, um, I'm I'm recommending I don't go out to quote every time mm -hmm. <laughs> on mm -hmm. these situations because so it's an so existing staff using a blog what you, you keep referencing a blog yeah right. staff okay. intranet a staff blog it's like no that. no no that prior to that in terms of migration of a blog what uh -huh. did the staff use before yes we had a staff blog that was there's an, there's an existing one now that would have to migrate to this new right. system right. And that but, was, but that that's questions. what i was just yeah. asking yeah. Yeah. what mm -hmm. were they using and how they did they come yeah i mean it's pretty clunky right now honestly um we you know we put a lot of stuff on there but we use it for shared things like um incident reports is a good example when mm -hmm. you have a, a patron ban or something you have to communicate about that we put that on there we put commonly used forms um, that we want to, to talk to other people mm -hmm. about. We put um, HR forms on there, personnel uh, stuff. It's really handy to have on there our manual links to that. What's the security procedures? That security procedures, yeah. No, what security will be on the internet? Oh, it's password protected. So each, each staff has to log in with a password, it, and it's only accessible <laughs> that way. Like their email, like they log in with yeah. their same, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm can not they, sure what. Can they access this at home? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know the answer. Okay. I, I mean, I, technically it's possible. I don't know what, um, I don't know what CVI is going to recommend. They're very security focused from, mm -hmm. uh, about remote logins. So, you know, I don't know. We can talk about it and, okay. and see. So that's what I was talking about in terms of security and somebody yeah. being able to break it. Because right? it's, it's, it's mentioned in here that, right. there are, we'll be that the, cur the current system already has some vulnerability, mm -hmm. and then this new system would also have some vulnerability. So is that something that can be addressed so that that vulnerability is minimized, if not completely eradicated? I don't. Know yeah, we will wrong. do our best to secure it with passwords, and and we may not. It be, if it is problems security wise we won't allow remote logins but mm -hmm. I don't I guess I don't know the answer to it it would be nice to log in remotely to see your schedule right. that's a good example of right. how staff would want to be able to do that I just don't know if we have that capability or mm -hmm. not because it, it yeah. Yeah, it's raised in the proposal that there's these issues exist I, just, I thought at least or, I don't know if it would be graphic solutions or somebody else would it be CVI then we would have to kind of come up with a solution on how to, on our end, how to fix yeah. It. Okay. Yeah, right. and uh, you know, in terms of securing the data, you know, we will do the best we can, but ultimately, uh, it's all foyable because it's public data right. and it's on right. a public machine anyway. So there is that. And yeah. that might be an yeah. interesting topic for us to talk about sometime. You know, maybe Stephen or somebody, you know, to talk about yes. uh -huh. uh, <laughs> web security. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe educate us a little bit in general and what the That's library idea, does to present, patron day preve alone. prevent, yeah. mm -hmm. you, know, you know, deal with patron security and patron yeah. information. It might be an interesting topic for a, yeah. a presentation. You know, well, a pa presentation. Right, and patron meeting. data is handled wholly differently. Yeah. That is mm -hmm. that is secured by CCS, which is our catalog system and our circulation okay. system, and they have cyber insurance, and it's locked down. Um, mm -hmm our own internal data we handle, um, yeah. and uh, that's through CVI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be interesting um, for the topic a little bit okay. at some point. And, mm -hmm. and speaking so of sure. passwords, I think there's a reference here to the fact that, that with this new change, with graphic solution, with this new proposal, that passwords may have to change. I assume that's just for staff. That would not be a, an external issue at all. That right. would just be internal. Okay, so, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a proposal for graphic solutions. Um, I move we approve the graphic solutions proposal. Yes. Can we get a second? To, uh, we have to put it in a total of 6,030. 
how uh, six one hundred. Bump that up a bit. Yeah. Six well, you've got a range. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. What, what did you say? Six thousand thirty. Sixty. I said sixty one hundred. Okay. Yeah. Yes. For the staff in yeah. 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 Just to round it up. Okay. Let's do sixty one hundred. Mm -hmm. Um. It's moved and seconded. We need a second. Um. <laughs> Jan, can you call the roll on that one? It. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee George. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee O'Laughlin. Yes. Trustee Barshis. Yes. Trustee. Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> um. Then we've got a proposal from CDW for um, some Apple stuff. So I know you told us what being used for, basically. Mm -hmm. What are they being used for? Youth services, because we wanted to sync up our technology with the schools and what the schools are using. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. using a lot of Apple. And so we wanted to make sure that we are in sync technologically in that way. So youth services uh, for a creative suite of software, things like video animation, sound recording, uh, green screen, apps, you know, those, those kinds of things work better on Apple. So mm -hmm. that's why we wanted to get at least a couple of those. Are these for staff for use youth? or public use? Uh, for pu a couple of them are for public, mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, we do have a staff one um, for our graphic designer. And it's the same situation that certain um, graphic design and, and Photoshop and uh, Adobe Suite, all of those products tend to work better on Apple computers. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why we're doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a motion we approve $6,700 for the CDW proposal for the six Mac computers, computers and yeah. systems and supporting equipment yeah second mm -hmm. um all right uh jan mm -hmm. trustee johnson yes trustee george yes trustee mcdonald yes trustee o'laughlin aye trustee parshes <laughs> yes <laughs> trustee <Hill>. aye <laughs> okay then we've got two uh proposals First, the signage and then the landscape mm -hmm. right, proposals that came out of the uh, facilities and equipment committee. Uh, there were two meetings on the subject. Mm -hmm. And we've got down here um, the um, facilities and equipment committee report, which Ginny chairs. Mm -hmm. But I sort of said, well, why don't you move that up and sort of talk about what the committee the proposals that we looked at and what the committee recommendation is. We can have further discussion, but we did have those two meetings, which are open to the public and open to any board member. Right. Um, so we, we looked at the, I think, four different signage proposals, and two of the companies are able to actually produce the signs, um, which was an advantage because some the two of them were way more expensive and it was really just for design work and they wouldn't have had the capability to produce the signs in the end. So it just felt like they were, there was, you know, they didn't really meet our needs. So the two, um, and one is just the lowest, actually the lowest bid we felt is the one we're recommending the strongest, the Pablaki, because we just felt like they could do what we needed to do um, at the lowest price. Um, and then we also said that ASI was an, was also another option, but it's you know two and a half times as much. So um, that's why the committee really felt that Publaki was the way to go. So the and Heather sort of walked through the different kind of approaches, and we sort of looked at all the proposals. And you're right, Publaki was the far and away uh, was one that in your interactions with them, they were very responsive, seemed to be very interested um yeah they've done other local libraries <coughs> excuse me like forest park mm -hmm. and um deerfield <coughs> excuse me fox lake and i i wanted to be clear that this proposal is purely for phase one mm -hmm. which is the right. this is design, design work. plan right yeah. right mm -hmm. and this is all interior signage just mm -hmm. to try to improve <coughs> our wayfinding within the um library so just to improve that friend signage, have not forgotten. <laughs> 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 that has been an issue. 
get you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. right. To help issue. people um, find you. That's it's true. Where we are. There, it's a little difficult. Some signage, but it's um, in uh, difficult to see places and not right. very. Um, uh, there's a little or no contrast. It, it's difficult. Yeah. We, mm -hmm. we can. If this is there an area we can improve it. It's yeah. one of <laughs> many inadequate sign issues. Right. We, hence the concept of getting some, you know, after the renovation and stuff, it's just sort of time to do this. Yeah. So this was a bid for 6510 6, So I motion that we approve the Bilwaukee sign proposal for no, no more to, it's not, not to exceed $6,600. Okay. I'll second it. Okay, Ginny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been moved and seconded that we accept the Bilwaukee uh, sign uh, proposal. Jan. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trusty Barshes. Aye. Trusty and then the last <laughs> question, when's the scheduled date? Do you have a deadline as to when you expect the signs to be up? Uh, I do not know the timeline at this point. Now, I mean, this was just the preliminary work, so I need to bring her back in and talk about it. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know as soon as I... Okay. And when you work with the graphic designer and... Uh, Work to, who will work together on the signage decision? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the signs are, um, you know, we want the kinds that you can slip in our own, mm -hmm. you know, especially for shelf ends, things right. like that. Right. You know, you can just buy the frame, and, right. you know, or design the frame and then um, get a bunch of them, and then our own interior, our graphic designer can put the inserts in. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah, right. we'll have a lot of that for collection signage. But the wayfinding, that will be... That's different. Yeah. So, so you're just talking about, like, putting a piece of paper in a shelf end, right? Right. Okay. Yes. Uh, but wayfinding, we really want, you know... Something a little bit really, more... Yeah, really, yeah. Sturdy. And <laughs> professionally <laughs> done. And, yeah. and to put it, I mean, really, we want an expert to tell us where to put the signs. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, yeah. to study the sure way people move story. through the space and the best right. uh, location for it. Our ceilings are very low, so it's really mm -hmm. hard to have hanging signs that are too low, but yeah, you can't have them too high either. If you notice at the circ desk, they're way too high. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll work those things out. Mm -hmm. And one uh, random question. Has anybody thought about whether we do it in another language as well? Yeah, it's a, it's a very good question. Yeah, we, we definitely need to talk about that in certain key areas. We've also talked about ADA compliance. Yeah. Um, you know, in some areas, you want to make sure that the font's extra big. Um, mm -hmm. And we talked a little bit about Braille, about whether where Braille needed. would be appropriate. Yeah, and in certain areas like large type, for example, we might want more ADA pieces. So we will nice. investigate all of that. Great. Mm -hmm. um, and then the trickier one is the landscape mm -hmm. design, which, you know, basically our building exterior. Um, right. And, the, and we also um, really discussed this in two meetings. Um, and again, we kind of came up with a clear, the, the least expensive one also seemed to be the, the clear winner as far as sort of philosophy, um, being close by, having done... Um, some good projects that we, we liked. Um, so we did look at three firms, and the firm that the committee felt um, was the best was the Tesca proposal. And their quote was for how much again? So um, with, with theirs to do <coughs> all parts of the, the plan. So basically, they're going to be assessing the site, um, every, basically everything in the exterior of the building, um, landscaping, um, the main signs for the building, um, hardscape, landscape, um, it's all sort of part of this proposal. Um, and they will do the site assessment and the framework plan, and then a preliminary master plan, and then a final master plan. Um, so their total expense was, um, you know, uh, much much less than some of the others were for just the preliminary plan. So mm -hmm. we felt like they would, they were affordable, and I just they worked with the library before um, on some smaller projects. Um, so we just felt like they know the they're from Evanston, so they're close by, um, and they were very responsive in their 
uh, dealings with Heather so far. So anyway, that's why we, some of the reasons we like to um, Yeah, the promotion is a big grasp of, of, our, of our situation. So mm -hmm. Right, yeah, so. right. Kind of. You know, I, I was kind of struck by Tuska's sort of uh, inclusive community planning process, mm -hmm. um, but it strikes me we're doing a master strategic plan at about the same time in a lot mm -hmm. of the tasks or seems to maybe overlap. Right. Well, so that's why we, we took that did. piece out. We did actually take no. that piece out because we felt the same thing that yeah. the same thing that mm -hmm. that we're going to the community um, to discuss the master plan. Plus, unfortunately, the timelines don't quite add up. Oh, okay. So we might not get as much as if we did um, a full community outreach. Um, um, as part of it, but we just felt that um, doesn't make sense to combine it. No, and then once we have some more concrete, um, with a preliminary plan, we'll put it out there for the community to see and comment on. Okay. Um, but just to say and avoid, you know, what kind of bushes do you like? It just didn't seem like we would yeah. be getting um, the kind of information we really need. We're going to get more of a professional estimation and then share that with the community. And once we have a strategic plan, you'll get what functions. Some of the functions. Yeah. No, 